Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Misty Hino with Misty Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, I'm not going to necessarily show you how to program a line following robot. For those of you that teach robotics, I'm going to show you what different resources you can use so your students can line follow with their robots. So if you want to see that, you're going to have to stay with me. So I've had my students line following G for the last four years. And so what I end up doing is going through a lot of resources because it takes up so much room um, to have all of these line following mats and different things. So each year I do a new one just, just because they get beat up, they get stepped on. Um, so what I'm gonna do in this video is show you what I've learned as far as what to use uh, for your line following uh, robots. So let's go ahead and take a look at the floor. So I pretty much hit up the teacher uh, resource room and I look for the butcher paper. Um, I used to use white and white is fine, um, but this year I didn't see white so I definitely picked up yellow. What you're trying to do is pick a color that has a very big contrast um, in reflection because we're gonna use that in the program. And if you want to check out the program, check out the very end of this video. There will be a link to the, a video for the program. Um, but here's what I do for this. I have the yellow paper here. And what I want to do is um, I want to get the black uh, to be in whatever shape I want it to be in. Now here is where I got smart. My first year, I actually bought a Sharpies. And we're coloring them in and I just realized it took forever and Sharpies are expensive. So I got smart this year and I got black duct, duct tape. I, I almost said duct tape, duct tape. And so why this is better is I don't have to spend all that time coloring it and it's pretty easy to do. Let me show you. So with the duct tape, all I do is I figure out how much I really need I'll just rip off whatever section I need. I'll cut it, and then basically what I'll do is I'll just, uh, I'll cut a little sliver here, and I'll just tear this down the middle. So I end up having two perfectly good pieces that are probably perfect for the line following. In fact, today my students ran their program, so this is a lot better than coloring the, it in with a Sharpie, believe me so much faster and um, the line stays true because sometimes when I would use the Sharpie there'd be fat sections where I made it too big and there'd be skinny sections so if you use duct tape it is oh this actually does say duct tape <laughs> um, it actually works a lot better and it's faster so you teachers love faster and better so let's go back to the floor and let me go ahead and describe the different tracks or line following mats that I have set up so this is my black line racetrack, as I call it. So I tried to get the, um, the black uh, duct tape to be equal. So I would just cut the strip and then just try to make the angles all the same so that, you know, students would just think, hey, that there's an equal chance of me winning. So the students would just put their robot on the line and then just race a friend or a partner to the finish line. And this is my bigger black track here. I put in an, a slant in there just so that students can see that if they put their robot on one side of the black uh, duct tape that their robot can take this slant and go to the other side of the track. And uh, I just basically hold everything down with um, painter's tape Definitely tell the students not to step on this. Tell, you know, tell them to walk around instead of jumping over just so that we can keep this perfect for other classes.
Okay guys, so there you have it. So if you teach robotics, there are just some of my helpful tips or tricks to get things up and running a lot faster. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and leave you a, a link to where you can buy a mat where it's just like an oval. Um, because with duct tape, yeah, it's hard to do ovals or circles. So there's where you might want to either use a Sharpie or buy a mat that already has it. So anyway, hopefully um, you're, you know, as robotics goes along, like myself, you just pick up tips or tricks to make life easy. Like I said before, I'd be like, no, I don't want to keep coloring in this black thing with my marker. And so I'm like, hmm, perfect. So you just learn different things on how to make life a little better. And then it's just, it's just that much better when you see your students um, you know, learning how to program their line following and everybody wins. Okay guys, hopefully you liked it. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.